John, thanks for being on with us. And that is exactly where I'm going to start with you. On a day where we've gotten a softer than expected ISM manufacturing number here in the U.S., we've got the strength of the dollar weighing on many commodity prices the world over. And then, of course, concerns about economic growth and possible recession. What are you seeing in this market? And does it seem like it's indicating we could be moving towards a global recession? So what we've seen on the on the dry bulk side is actually a winding down of congestion, uh, particularly in China uh, and the rest of the world, as the COVID restrictions that were put in place and weighed heavily on the industry in 2021 have eased. So that we're seeing more of the easing of congestion. And, you know, our business is very focused on China and China is now coming to the end, we hope, of their on again, off again, COVID lockdowns. And so we're starting to see a recovery on the demand side, and we're actually starting to see port congestion wind back up again, uh, and freight rates start to move back up in China. So just to put a sharp point on that, does that mean that you are seeing positive signs in China? And when other companies like FedEx, for example, come out and warn that they're seeing slowing growth there, and there's concerns about the real estate market, for example, you're not as worried? No, not as worried. And, and you know, the real estate market obviously has, has put a uh, damper on iron ore imports. We're starting to see that turn around. If you look at steel production in China, uh, it hit a low in July of about 75% utilization. And now we're actually up close to 90%. Um, so what I would say is we're seeing green shoots in China. And if you remember going back to whether it's the global financial crisis in 2008 or the initial COVID lockdowns in 2020, China is what, you know, they stimulated their economy and, and led the world out of, uh, out of the recession. Well, John, it's David. You seem to be somewhat positive then on the idea that China will kind of open up for good. Uh, you know, do you have visibility into that? Because it obviously has ramifications far beyond your business. Yeah, I mean, look, what we're starting to see again are increased shipments of iron ore, which I think is, um, is a pretty good leading indicator on their steel industry. We're seeing that steel utilization up. Um, obviously, you know, just reading in, in, uh, in the, what, the, what everyone can read, you know, with Macau opening up, I think that's a, uh, an interesting data point in terms of these, again, these on-again COVID lockdowns in China, hopefully coming to an end. I wonder if we can bring up the chart again, the Baltic Dry Index. I mean, we've seen rates fall pretty dramatically in recent weeks and recent months. Uh, is this is this a reversion to the mean, if you will? Is this is this us moving past the pandemic to a normal? And if so, is it a new normal? How do you see it with the rates? Yeah, no, well, so first of all, I mean, let put it put it in perspective. We're talking about seventeen to twenty thousand dollar a day rates versus our cash flow break evens around eighty five hundred dollars. So hmm. these are still very healthy rates. And, you know, we use two thousand twenty one and, and most of this year. We paid off 60 percent of our debt with those cash flows and we were able to put a very strong dividend policy in place. Um, I, you know, I, uh, I again, I, I look at what is coming or what we believe is coming into the fourth quarter and then hopefully a, a recovery next year is going to be led by China. It is going to be led by their real estate and their infrastructure spending.